For our final example in Chapter 3, we're going to manage styles with the Manage Styles and Apply Styles windows. Select our default.aspx page, go to Design View, and find your header tag. In your header tag, then go to View, Apply Styles. We want to find the inline styles at the bottom of this list. Right click it and create New Style Copy. The reason we're going to do this is we're going to move this to the styles.css page and remove it from inline. Go in your selector, drop down, find your H1 tag, select it. Now we're going to select our styles.css page. Go ahead and select OK. We can then open styles.css. Go down to the bottom and we'll see our new header tag or header definition. Let's go back to default.aspx, design view, and get rid of inline styles by right clicking, remove inline style. It's no longer needed. Go to View, Manage Styles. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually look at our introduction. doesn't matter what we select here. This is actually showing us all the style content in the Manage CSS Styles. We can see that dot .introduction is available. And we're going to move that below our H1 tag in the styles.css page by dragging and dropping. That is now in our styles.css page. Now that style will apply to this default.aspx page because we're linking to it, as you see here. Dot introduction is no longer required as a definition in the default.aspx page because it's part of the styles.css style sheet. Let's go and save everything. Run it and you'll see that all our styles are still available.